Tassadit. Uh, my name is Joe Co. I am an IELTS instructor from Texas. Uh, no, actually, I'm from California. You know, I'm going to give you my feedback live as I'm reading it. Chart, charts, plural, illustrate uh, the ages of populations in two countries, Italy and Yemen. Okay, now there's a reason why the question puts it a particular way. I mean, there's a reason why um, they choose to use the language that they do, because it's correct. And if you're going to, paraphrasing it by making it grammatically incorrect is not paraphrasing. You need to find different words to describe uh, the same thing. So instead of the chart illustrates, I would first of all, I would say there are four charts which illustrate. Why? Because now you've got your uh, uh, relative clause out of the way. You've gotten a complex sentence in right off the bat. There are four charts which illustrate. Uh, both countries are estimated to undergo some changes. And that's very imprecise language. It would be quite remarkable if it didn't change. In the 15 coming years, let's see, 2050 minus 20, 2035, oh my god, I'm 75 years old now. All right, overall, the dominant category of population by age in Yemen, our category is one thing, right? Is, category one, is those who are 15 to 59. What do you call those people who are between the ages of 15 to 59? Are they children? Are they the elderly? No. Paraphrase. Adults. Well, you could say a 16-year-old is not an adult, but, you know, people of, uh, oh, I like my hat. Keep it on. Uh, adults. However, don't use however in task one. Well, you can, but it's tricky. However, the 60-plus group with an E on the end, for some reason, uh, has, uh, excuse me, have a little proportion in the graph. Same in Italy regarding the first population age, but the second category tend to increase. No, it doesn't increase. It is larger in Italy. But this, that's not what the overview is for. The overview is to describe the main information. And you get to it at the end. That means that that means Italy has the a uh, what the a uh, has and again make comparisons so Italy has a larger well not larger it's not they're not bigger but you know it has a greater Italy or, yeah. these are children these are adults so these are children, these are adults. Yemen, children, adults, yes. So, this is the key information. Italy is older than Yemen. So, we just put it that way to say. Overall, it can be seen that in the past, the population of Italy was older than that of Yemen. And this trend is continued, is um, projected to continue to the future. Over half the population of Yemen were younger and aged 14 or under. Oh, 50.7, yeah. Yeah, how about they were over half the population was, was aged 14 or younger. That's all you need. While in Italy, only 14.3 population were in that age group. So you've described it. Why not make a comparison? That's what you had. What does it say right here? Make comparisons. The 
population of Yemeni children, Yemeni, there's Yemeni of them, <laughs> of Yemeni children was higher than that of Italian children. What's the percentage? We don't know total numbers. People age six accounted for quarter, a quarter of Italians, good, but only 3.6 of the Yemenites. I guess they can be called Yemenites. I, don't, I think the official one is Yemen, but we'll go with Yemenite, it's all right. Uh, in 2050, it is predicted that most of the population of Yemen will be aged 15 or over with 46.2%. No, not 15 or over, because there's another category um, of the elderly. This percentage will be surpassed. No, they're not in competition. It will be surpassed by Italian population with 57.3. It's not, they're not, in, they're, it's not surpassing. They're, um, you know, the, the percentage will still be higher in Italy with 57.3%, 65 and, or 61 older. The category of people aged 14 or less will be higher in Yemen with 37%. will be higher than in Italy. Okay, so, when you, more par your vocabulary does not show a lot of range here, okay? You stick with the numbers instead of real, realizing what they show. Good use of half, you know, just over half, and quarter, a quarter. And you don't mess up the grammar, that's good. A lot of times with um, task ones, people will right in the present tense when they're talking about the past. And you did that pretty well. So yeah, um, I don't think you've chosen the, you, you haven't made enough comparisons to get a seven in um, task achievement. Um, and your lecture, your, it was kind of clunky in its flow. Too many repeated words, so it doesn't have a sense of progression. Look that up. Lexical, again, you repeat the same words. Uh, again and again, and so grammar's okay, but if you need a seven, you're not there yet, sorry. 